women are more subtle with it. So it's not easily to identify. So I just wanted to put that in there just because a therapist could be saying that, oh, you should go think of this. They're also working with the fact of anything masculine a man do, they're going to put it down and say, oh, he's being abusive. Why do you have to talk to her? Like you ever seen those shows where it's counseling? Everything is geared to him having to soften everything for the woman. So well, I, I feel like at the end of the day, it's just like an addict. An addict doesn't know they're an, they won't say they're until an addict admits they're an addict, they can't get help. So I don't feel like anybody could convince somebody that they've been hoodwinked for the last however many years they were married. I feel like that's something that she had to feel in her heart in order to break up her family. Well, let me just add this. There's something called cognitive bias and confirmation bias. So a lot of women, they don't know how they feel. Think about that. How many women be like, am I tripping? Let me call my friend. Am I tripping? Let me get on uh, TikTok. Am I, they love to say, am I tripping? Am I crazy? They need confirmation of how they actually feel in order to actually feel it. So if you go to a therapist and you go to a woman therapist, which usually like I um, I think and I think Anton said it, you go to a woman therapist, that's potentially the worst thing you can do because she's still a woman. She's going to most likely confirm everything you feel about the person that she doesn't even know, which is stupid. You know what I'm saying? So we got to just keep that in mind. Women confirm random shit that goes on in other women's head in order to for whatever reason so if she went to a woman therapist and her therapist said oh yeah he's a narcissist most likely is a possibility that not only her but the therapist could actually be a narcissist also the therapist can yeah, actually if you're going to a real therapist you're not going to diagnose someone that they haven't been able to diagnose like that that's irresponsible for any therapist that you speak to and unprofessional um it goes against what they teach is like they can't diagnose someone that they have not been able to analyze and speak with so no her her therapist did not Maybe this is something that maybe she studied on her own. And when did she call him a narcissist? I don't know. Did somebody confirm that or is that just something like a rumor? What, what happened was it's a popular guy. I'm sorry. Well, two of the, I thought B-Tell in one country, I thought y'all were putting words in, in her mouth kind of like saying yeah, that she, I, I was going by what they said. she was saying that he said, she said uh, he was I never narcissist. said he, he was a narcissist. I was addressing one country, a therapist who well, never Tina, diagnosed Well, Tia someone. herself implied you, so she implied it. But she's I never called it. him a, a narcissist. Hold on, does anybody though? know that Tia said he was a narcissist? No, I don't think so. I've Nobody never seen that. just implied it. She never said it, oh. but she was just sharing certain things. What are, what is a What is a narcissist? Well, somebody with an um, inflated sense of importance and it gets worse and worse and worse. So it's one thing about a disorder, but the typical narcissist is somebody who just makes everything about them to a point where it hurts the other person and it, you know, dismisses how, everything how does, that they feel about. How does it hurt the other person? A narcissist typically has abandonment issues from childhood. So there, there's this thing that says when the closer you are to them, they've called neo narcissists their ability to overly saturate you with something it could be a fact whatever the, their process is and then there's a part where you also become disposable in the worst way where there's either a time yep. where it would emotionally drain you of everything or sometimes women and men experience from those women that they feel emotional abandonment and or actually abandoned and they'll go on a smear campaign mm -hmm. believe me hey like i'm the victim Yep. There's, there's different there's different types of narcissism, um, but the definition of it is a personality qualifies include thinking very highly of oneself, needing ad, ad, admiration, believing others are inferior, and lacking empathy for others. So a lot of politicians. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So let's stay right empathy there. for whoa, others. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's stay right there. Why wouldn't we want our men to be nar narcissists? Based off of the definition, why wouldn't you want your man to be a narcissist? I agree with you. Is it a bad thing? It's a very I bad thing when you're in a relationship. Wait, 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 wait. Read the that definition. On the other person Read can the be a definition bad thing. one more time for me, B. Taylor. Huh, oh, sorry. Hold on. I exited out. Um, it is a personality, person, 
personality qualities include thinking very highly of oneself, mm -hmm. needing admiration, believing mm -hmm. others are inferior, mm -hmm. and lacking empathy for others. I don't really understand what the problem is. Lacking yeah. empathy. Think Why do I like, have to have empathy? Why do I have to have empathy for you? For your wife? You don't think you should have empathy for your wife? Why do I like have to have empathy? Like if it's her birthday, like for example, what narcissists do, like they they do not like birthdays. They don't like when their partner has a birthday because all the attention is focused on them and all the love is going to them and it's not going to you. So a, nar a narcissist would do something like kind of self-sabotage that person's birthday. No, that's not narcissism. That's jealousy. No, that is. That's, it that's, is. That, no, 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 no. That's jealousy. That's that's not the same. Well, that's part of a, a no, person. That, that, it, like, jealousy is not. Right. And they find every right. moment to make he's every right. moment right. about them. Right. Every right. moment about them. If, you, if right now we're congratulating Anton and we want to talk about Anton, and somebody can't take the attention, I will purposely do stuff, hey, Anton, or propose to this girl on your wedding day. I don't, I don't hear that. Right. Right. I right. person who was borderline don't hear that in the definition. It's actually pretty disturbing how far they will go to take the attention. No, see, and this is one of those things where we have to stop. This is one of the most overused words that I've heard over the past year. Um, toxic masculinity is another one, which masculinity cannot be toxic because if that was the case, then we need to apply it to, turn it down. We have to apply it to toxic. We don't say toxic femininity. I don't, I don't hear any of that. So I, do. I guess the thing is, to be honest with you, it's y'all fault. It's, it's, it's the guy's fault. Y'all keep giving these hoes validation. Y'all keep letting them spoon feed y'all and emasculate y'all in the relationship. Y'all let them continue to control the bank account. You let them, you keep dealing with these chicks and, and making them feel like they more than ever. We hear more than often, more often than ever, people on these panels, people in social media, whatever. It's all about you. It's validating you. It's making you feel good. It's having empathy for you. It's building you up. It's making you awesome as a result of your postpartum is you 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 it's always black woman is queen black woman is god black women rock sparkle That's on the black women question. Do you sparkle on black women are you Come a on. narcissist like would you say you're a proud narcissist you tell me am i a narcissist i can't diagnose you i'm not a therapist well in your in your in your limited opinion would you think that i'm a narcissist I think you have very a lot of qualities of it, but I would never diagnose you. But I'm just saying, you said it's not a bad thing. Yes, so I, I would I like to. Say, yeah. I would like to hear from you, since it's not a bad thing. It's, it's, our, it's our fault as men. I'm gonna I'm just put myself in the group, even though I haven't validated bad behavior. It's our it's our fault as men that we did not make y'all submit more than y'all should have. And they have their ways of operating. We're more. Um, what is it? You have overt narcissists and then covert.